there are basically going to be three different editing modes that you're going to be using in WaveLab Pro. And I've jumped ahead here a little bit and loaded one of each mode or file type inside of the editor. But to discover a little bit more about these different modes, let's go to the File menu. So click on File, and then click on the New tab over here. And then you can see that the three topmost tabs are Audio File, Audio Montage, and Batch Processor. So what are the differences between Audio File, Audio Montage, and Batch Processor? Well, to illustrate that, I've loaded those individual files, montages, and batch processors. And to reveal those, I'm just going to click on the File button again. And that will take us to these three individual tabs in this file group. And I'll explain this layout a little bit more later. But right now, if I look at this file this is an audio file and the audio file mode is when you are editing or working with only one file at a time so here we can see that there's a file called apologize that has been loaded into the editor and here i could start to do some editing on the audio file so when you're editing one individual audio file you'll want to use the audio file mode Next is audio montage. Montage is different because it can edit or play back a lot of different audio files simultaneously so that you could either string together a whole bunch of individual audio files or have them play together at the same time in a composite. So audio montage mode is what you use when you want to be editing or working with a whole bunch of individual audio files all at the same time and even getting them played back simultaneously. And the last mode is the batch processor. To illustrate what you can do with batch processor, what I've done is loaded 10 individual audio files and then I've loaded one plugin into the plugin chain. And the one that I chose was the resampler. So if I wanted to convert all 10 of these audio files to a new sample frequency, I could choose 48 kilohertz right here and choose the best quality. And then when I clicked on the start button, it will process all of these audio files simultaneously and utilize all the cores that you have in your central processing units or the chip that drives your computer, the CPU. And that way you don't have to load 10 individual audio files and process each one one by one. Instead, you can have the batch processor process all of them simultaneously and do all of the saving for you. Now, it's important to know that you can have multiple different audio files or montages or batch processors all loaded simultaneously. So to help you see what you're currently working on, they've added little icons to the left of each tab. You can see that this has the batch processing icon because it's a batch processor. If we look at the audio montage, see how it has two audio waveforms as the icon? That's the montage icon. So when you're on a montage, this is what the icon will look like. And then the audio file mode, which only uses or lets you edit one audio file at a time, has the audio file icon. So that will help you see what tab is actually what in your project right now. So now that you know a little bit more about the modes, let's talk about the ribbon.